Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new designer review video. Today I want to review my latest bag addition to my collection and it is the Yves Saint Laurent Nikki bag in the medium size. So in the video, like we did with the previous one with the Gucci 1955, I'm gonna go through all the details of the bag, pro and cons, and then also I'm gonna style it today with three looks. In this way you're gonna have like a pretty complete overview of the bag. I hope this can help you with your styling to get inspired if you have the bag or if you want to buy the bag. You should be able to have all the information that you need to help you decide. The first thing I want to say about this bag, now I've I had it for about a month and I've been wearing it basically every day so I'm able to give you a pretty good review because I've been wearing it a lot. It is quite a casual bag and I must say that it really fits the lifestyle of the moment. It's still locked down here so there is not much glam going on, like there's no events, the restaurants are closed so all of my looks and like outfits, they've been like very casual, very wearable, and I found that this is quite a casual bag. It really fits the purpose of an everyday bag. I can fit a lot in it, but yeah, I just wanna say that it is not a bag that I would wear it at night. It's more like of a day bag. So I grabbed my phone because as I always do, I want to give you all the correct information in terms of measurements and price as well. So I got my Yves Saint Laurent Nikki from an American website called Forward, but you can find it in a lot of luxury retailers, not just on the Yves Saint Laurent main website. In terms of price, it varies quite a bit. So this is the medium size, and I've seen around that you can find it from 1,900 euros up to 2,100. So there is about a 200 euros price difference in the websites that I've been looking at. And in the description box, I'm gonna leave you links of the website that I'm normally buying from, that you can trust, and where I find that the bag, it is one of the most competitive prices to buy right now. So let's go into the details of the bag. So mine, it is the medium size. It is 100% lambskin and of course, as you can see, I went for the gold hardware. You can have quite a few combination of these bags. You can have the bag in uh, three main colors. So black, then it comes in a cream color, which I also really like, and it comes in a burgundy color as well, which is not really my color, but I have to say that it is quite a cute combination, the burgundy with the gold hardware, especially for winter. So it is 100% lamb skin, so it is very, very soft. It is a durable leather, but it can easily get scratched because it is not like a grainy type of leather. It is just very like, yeah, soft and smooth. And finally, you can also have it in ostrich leather, but that's way more expensive. I think we're talking about three and a half thousand euros. And personally, I wouldn't go for that type of leather. Let's go into the measurement. So 100% lambskin, the dimension are 28 for 20 for 8.5 centimeter. So this is 28 centimeters for 20. You can fit a lot into this bag. Okay, let's go even more in depth. So the strap, because I get this question a lot uh, on a lot of my handbags, like how long is the strap? So it is, uh, when it's folded, so you have like a double strap that you wear it mainly like as a handbag or like shoulder bag it is 30 centimeter. When it is long, and it's when you wear the bag crossbody, it is 53 centimeter, which is a lot, and which is fabulous, because you can wear this crossbody even over a big coat, 
and I'm gonna show you later in the video when I do the try on. I'm gonna try on with my biggest coat I have in my wardrobe and you'll see how it fits. Great winter bag if you ask me and especially because I do love to wear my bags crossbody. I have a child so I like to have my hands free for her and when my bag is crossbody it's just like really convenient. Now let's take a look inside so I'm gonna move the camera closer and I'm gonna show you all the different compartments which are quite a few. Okay so this is the close-up of the bag so you have a magnetic closure looks like this and then I was fitting this inside too. Don't like when the bag looks empty. Then you have a front pocket here. And then you have a big pocket, which is like the main space of the bag. And then inside you have a smaller one and then you have a zipped pocket here. And then you also have one at the back and as well with a different one, but still like a magnetic closure. So it is quite safe. I tend to fit my iPhone in this pocket at the back because it is safe, because you can close it, but it is like very easy to just take it out. Okay, now I'm gonna show you. My bag is like fully stuffed of my everyday essentials. It looks like this when it's full. Of course, when you make it super, super full, because really you can fit a lot in this bag, but when you make it super, super full, of course, then it is a little bit more difficult to wear a crossbody because it just like looks, I don't know, it looks weird. But when I make it so full, I wear it like on my shoulder. And I have to say that this is also a very good travel bag, I think, because you can fit so much. So. Let's go ahead and I'll show you. So, I have a winter beanie hat, like a chunky one. And then I have my perfume, and this is like the big size bottle. Just want to demonstrate how much you can fit in. Sunglasses, a lipstick, my wallet card holder. This is quite small, but I don't use a big wallet my iPhone cable with the plug that to be honest with you normally if I drive I don't even bring it with me because I have one in the car already and then I have my two iPhones car key and home key and there's still space so it is I think uh, within all my like handbags and crossbody bags it is together with the Chanel 19 the one that I can fit the most in. Okay, so this is a bit of the um, general information about the bag. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna wear the bag with three different looks. So you can see the different stylings and you can see how it looks crossbody on my shoulder or like as a, um, carried like as a pouch. I can show you all the different ways on how you can actually style it. First, way of styling it, which is with this look, I'm just wearing like a very simple denim shirt, so quite thin. I like to wear it crossbody and you just show when you wear a crossbody with this like gold chunky chain and I quite like it. And then as you can see, uh, this chain, it is quite long, so it sits quite low on your waist that I quite like and to finish my look I wear my knit on my shoulder and this is how it looks like crossbody over a quite thin outfit that this could also be like a spring look. As you can see from the full body outfit, uh, this is quite casual. All the looks that I show you today, they're gonna be quite casual because this is to me a very casual bag. So yeah, I think this is the styling I prefer. Uh, next up, it is another, I would call it 
casual chic look. So I'm wearing a knit, like medium length, I would say, and jeans. And then I'm gonna wear a blazer, so you can see how the bag looks with a different like outwear structure, let's say. So this is a bit of a medium length blazer, but imagine that this could be also a coat. And then this is how the bag would look in three ways. So crossbody, you see it looks perfect, it sits really nicely. Sometimes what I mean it sits nicely, when you have a chunky coat and the crossbody bag, the bag sits like this, like, and that is not nice, <laughs> while this sits perfectly. So the crossbody was one way, and then with this look I quite like it also when you wear it on your shoulder, like this, or you can also wear it as a pouch. I love wearing bags like this, of course I can only mainly do this when I don't have Emma with me. <laughs> and finally I want to show you the bag with my most wintry look. It's something I wore uh, last weekend, we had like snow and uh, so it was really really cold and so I wore something really warm in terms of shoes as well and then I wore my warmest coat and it is my Max Mara Tadi. This coat is so warm and I haven't worn it until now because I thought it was always too warm but so this is it and then I wore the bag crossbody and I was so surprised it fit because I thought no bag in the world could go crossbody with this coat and there you go. Of course, as I mentioned before, like you cannot make it super full but when you only have your essentials, it's fine. Okay guys, this is it with my review of the Yves Saint Laurent Nikki bag. I think I covered pretty much everything. I love showing you also the way of wearing it and like what you can really understand when you see it with outfits, I think. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments what uh, luxury item I should review next. I have the feeling that it's gonna be like the Prada or the Louis Vuitton loafers, but if you've seen something else me wearing that you'd like me to review, let me know. Bye!